Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Atlas. Here is a daily update video on SafeMoon. I'm going over the latest news as well as price analysis. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. It's nice to have you here. Please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so that you know whenever we got a new video. Feel free to share the video on social media if you guys think that anybody else would enjoy it and appreciate the news and the updates and everything. I know my hair is a little bit crazy right now. Sorry about that. It's getting to the point where it's just long enough that it starts to do these little curls or these cowlick things, but it's not long enough to, to fully curl with everything else. So, yeah, I might look a little bit goofy. Don't judge me. If you guys uh, didn't already know, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion, it's my own research, and I highly recommend that you go and do your own research on these things. I am on Twitter at CryptoAtlasYT. You can see my handle right down, down below here at CryptoAtlasYT. Would love for you guys to come over and be a part of the community. I do host Twitter spaces and I send out a lot of updates and things in regards to not only SafeMoon, but Bitcoin, and maybe some other cryptocurrencies from time to time. And yeah, let's go ahead and go over the main things now, guys. Let's dive on in. My hair is just, what if I just sit like this the rest of the uh, call? No, I'm just kidding, guys. Anyway, so SafeMoon moved down just a little bit on the top 100 list, according to CoinGecko. Yesterday, it was dangling right around, uh, I think it was 51. It was either 51 or 52. And so, yeah, it's just dropped down a little bit. We do have a bit of a significant drop in price that took place. I'll be going over what happened with that. The barrier of entry to get into the top 1,000 wallets has actually dropped down. So it is continuously moving down, guys, right now at 28, uh, 28,905,000,000. So absolutely crazy. Let me go ahead and refresh the page here one more time and see if anything had changed. Let's see. Yeah, so 28 billion 905 million if you want to get in the top 1000 spot. There's a discount going on right now with the price, so it's going to be easier to accrue more to acquire these kinds of positions. Going on, further news, SafeMoon social media ad campaign. This was posted over on the subreddit by IGH Properties. And basically what they're trying to do is to help fundraise so that the advertisements can go out there once this new feature has been rolled out, right? Need this to get started so we have the funds when the wallet is released. If the beta is coming soon, I am sure wallet will follow not too far. This will come. Uh, this will cover the Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit ads. I'll post the quotes as always. Thank you. So if you guys want to check that out, you want to investigate it, if you want to support them on this, I highly recommend that you guys go check out the subreddit, see what other people are saying, the feedback and things like that. This would not be the first time that ad campaigns have been run, uh, ran in order to help get more media exposure for that of SafeMoon. So we actually saw a billboard that went up in New York City, and that was largely led because of the support from the community to be able to raise the funds for that. And so there was a massive whale that ended up selling off a lot of their SafeMoon. And this whale, I believe, was the second biggest individual wallet holder from what I was reading and was right around $3 million worth. So the second largest whale just dumped 900 billion coins. They have been selling billions of coins for a few hours now. More reflections for us. This was posted four hours ago by Benji. And as you guys can actually see, there are a lot of transactions that are taking place right here. The address for that wallet is located at the very top, as you guys can see. All right, so let's see what the third picture is. You guys just get to see more instances of that. Okay, so the very top wallet, this number one position, just FYI, that is for the burn wallet address. So it is not referencing that one. Um, does it show where the other address came? So it's a 0x44FD. Does it show 44FD on the other one? Mm, 44FD, it's the this one right here, right? So you got the burn wallet, then I believe number two is an individual wallet holder, and then number three is that position that's been selling off uh, a whole bunch, right? And they've got 24 trillion coins still, and according to that, I'd have to look at the latest ranking on, on that, but we just closed that out, so. Um, you know what, maybe I could take a quick look at it. We got a lot of other stuff. That, oh, not a lot. We don't have very much other stuff to talk about for today. That's why I was going to go ahead and take a second to do this. So that's 44FD. Let's see if it's still there. All right, pulling up SafeMoon. 44FD. 
go to wallet holders yep there's the account right there and it was about five and a half hours ago so their balance they still have 24 trillion there's the million billion trillion position so they still got 24 trillion safe moon left the value is about 94 million dollars so yeah they did do quite a bit of a sell-off which is great but they didn't close out their position they're still supporting the project quite heavily might i add so yeah i wouldn't worry too much guys um it's actually good that we have the price lower too i, I mentioned this before because of the tokenomics function you've got more reflections that's going to go out to the rest of the community whenever people decide to sell or buy right that's another thing too and it also feeds back into the burn wallet so keeping the price really low and doing a massive amount of volume at these prices would be amazing because that means the circulating supply is going to dramatically drop down which means the price can move up and down much much more rapidly right so if people are like oh one cent a dollar anything like that okay the faster we can burn everything the better and you need less money less dollars right to be able to buy the a large amount of safe moon um with these low prices so if it shoots up a ton in price well obviously you're gonna need a lot more dollars to be moved into the uh, to into that in order to have more safe moon so this is a blessing in disguise just keep that in mind moving on papa posted something in discord again with all his cryptic stuff right so he says uh, in response the contract is 44 kilobytes now I don't really understand this a lot, so if anybody happens to understand it, let me know in the comments and let everybody else know in the comments down below, please. But uh, I don't know if this is hinting at the fact that the contract size went up or the contract size went down. Um, I don't really quite understand what he meant by that. Safe Moon blockchain is 44 kilobytes is what somebody else is responding to. What does that mean? And then they're like... I don't know. They just kind of shrugged their shoulders. It means he is definitely working on a safe moon contract blockchain and he is using a programming language called Solidity to reduce and optimize the size of the coin, among other things. The smaller in kilobytes a contract is, the more secure it is. The faster the transactions are and the lower the gas fees will be, I think. All right. So uh, 44 kilobytes is really steady. Nearly every word of this is wrong, except that Solidity is used to write smart contracts for Ethereum based blockchains. Sorry, I actually didn't see this, but let's go ahead and go over this with you guys just to hopefully clear some things up, and then you guys can elaborate in the comments. Solidity has nothing to do with reducing or optimizing the size of a coin or a contract that's akin to saying he's using English to reduce the size of an essay. Kilobytes and security. What kilobytes represent the size of the file, which the more characters you add, the size increases. This is, again, akin to saying the shorter the essay, the better the argument is. Gas equals fees that are required to execute each function. The less functions, the less complex operations required the lower gas fees, so you're semi-correct about that. Huh, okay, that's interesting. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Moving on, spot in Savannah, Georgia. Here's a nice little ad that somebody had set up. I think that's pretty cool. Moving on, Juicy J, who is a, uh, he's an influencer, right? I think he's a musician, right? He, uh, I th I'm pretty sure he's a musician. I don't follow him, to be honest with you guys. So Juicy J apparently posted on Twitter saying Seagram's Jin got me flying to safe moon. Moving on, we are most uh, more popular than Bitcoin in Asia, according to Coin Market Cap. So in this posting right here, as you guys can see, let's go ahead and blow that up for you. You've got Shiba Inu, Polygon, and then Safe Moon at number three. Bitcoin being placed number four. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I like Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin as well. And then um, there was some drama. Let's go ahead and address this. Real briefly, I tried looking into it more over in the Discord channel. Apparently, from my understanding, is that some of the Safe Moon mods are also mods in another cryptocurrency Discord. And there was some sort of a coordinated effort where all of a sudden last night, everybody just started going off. They're bad mouthing the management team, and um, it got really bad. There was a lot of arguments going on for quite a while, and it's still kind of being talked about, but it's mostly brushed over at this point and it looks like it's being handled with everything right so these people yeah were promoting another cryptocurrency and just bad mouthing the safe moon team saying that like oh it's not the same project as what it first started it was three months ago like i'm sorry it sounds kind of crazy you've changed it's like it's been three months you barely even know me like well maybe you didn't take enough time to get to know me and really understand what the dreams and goals and ambitions were that 
I have, right? So anyways, um, in addition to that, apparently Ragnar decided to step down. Um, and according to this response, he said, nothing happened to me. I resigned. You don't need to read into everything to do to the degree you all do. LOL. This is some cryptic riddle. So who knows? Maybe he found another project that he wanted to be a part of. Maybe he's like, you know, I've made enough money now that I just don't want to work. Whatever his reason is. But according to him, it wasn't like he was fired or anything like that. Um, if anybody from the SafeMoon team is watching this video, just FYI, I uh, reached out to Hank, and I'm just trying to let you guys know that I have previous work experience as the partnerships manager for uh, for Streamlabs. Excuse me. So if you guys need to fill the role, I am interested, and I would like to be able to talk with you guys. Let me know if you guys would be okay with me having that sort of a role position, if you think it would be helpful and stuff. And then the last thing that we're going to go over is just to see just these price levels that I think we should keep an eye on. You have these crazy moments like this massive drop that took place that was just like out of the blue, right? So anyways, with where we're at right now, I'd be looking at support right around 3327. If it drops down below that, a massive drop would be down to 22 2222 basically, right? That is a huge drop position. That's like a worst case scenario. Um with everything that's taking place right now. On the way up, 37.14 is a level of resistance. Beyond that is going to be the 4,000 range. Beyond 4,000, right around 40.88. And then a peak level past 45. I think we can finally get back into the five-digit range and start working back towards the 7,000, 7,500 that was consolidating quite a bit. So that's going to go and do it for this episode, guys. I do have referral links in the description for Coinbase, Gemini, BlockFi, Robinhood, and Weeble. So you can get some free crypto or free stocks. Feel free to check those out. If you guys are new to the channel, please do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. Click the bell icon. Share the video. Let other people know what's going on. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about everything. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.